Today, I'm gonna to try and break 70, and I'm gonna talk you through every single shot, give you my thought process and the strategies I use on the course to create some great golf. I've been playing the game for nearly 30 years, played in some top amateur events recently, and shot 63 this year on this, my home course. I'm really hoping that you can get some ideas and tips from this to play some great golf of your own and you can also hold me to account when things don't go right because invariably golf is hard. Let's go break par together. Back nine now so we're four over that's okay. Short par three 122 but it's probably playing more like 130 so I'm just going to chip a nine iron to keep it away from this hard left to right wind. Staying tiny bit left of it and just chip it up there hold on it's trying all right not a great bounce pin high just right of the green really not an easy shot that actually with that crosswind golfer's worst nightmare well if ever there was somewhere to miss this was it I've got plenty of green to work with good lie 52 degree, it's going to come from the right again, mostly uphill. You are going to see me be more aggressive now because I'm chasing it. Not overly advisable, but at four over par, what choice do I have? Hmm. I actually thought I'd played that really well, it just kind of stood up when it bounced and has now left me a little tester for a par and I've not been playing the par threes well so far but this is where you just have to trust it it's about a cup and a half out don't be looking at the hole and pull it just find an aim point and hit it good putt again I actually hold quite a few of those <laughs> unfortunately they're all for par now I want to be very clear with you here I am not hitting the panic button at all, staying nice and calm, but I am going into full attack mode, which I wouldn't necessarily advise, but I need to claw some shots back, although I say that and I've got hybrid off this tee, but there's just no benefit to hitting driver, so I'm aiming at the flag, wind is going to pull it hard back to the left, so just trust it, let it feed back to the fairway, and then go hit sand wedge on. very high that's very good it's straight at the pylon in the distance which is an ideal line hopefully I'm not behind it though that was a good tee shot annoyingly I have the pylon in my way but if I do hit it I can replay my shot with no penalty so I am going right of it anyway because of the wind got 145 pin but I'm trying to hit a 120 shot because it's downwind and it's downhill. So I'm aiming just inside the right edge of the green. It's a good for line, needs to go a bit. That's a big bounce though, that's handy. Wow, that's um that's gone very much further to the left than I was expecting. And I think I've just run onto the fringe, but that was a good shot. I'm quite happy with that. I brought a selection of clubs again, simply because, I, well, I can't put it, that's for sure. It's just run into the rough, and it's not an ideal lie, so I'm going to have to stab it a bit with the 52. It's all uphill, a bit of right to left. I am very confident with these chips, so let's just knock it in. Just caught it a tad chunky again. Nearly, it wasn't far off. I need nerves of steel again. Nope. <laughs> and that is just the way the cookie crumbles. That's decided I'm going in the hole, but no, I don't want to, I'm coming back out again. Golf is very much sent to testers sometimes. 
Anyway, 12th hole. Fortunately, get to give this a lash with driver so I can take out some frustration, but I hope you find this relatable. Come on, long way to go still. Focus. Over this fairway bunker with a draw on the wind. And that's probably the best drive of my life when it's gone absolutely miles. That's better. So much better. Let's be honest, guys. It's not been great. But you know what? It really does give me the opportunity to go on the complete attack, take on flags, be aggressive off the tee. So let's see what we can shoot in these last few holes. Maybe a couple under. But we're still going to take it shot by shot, starting with this one. Incredible tee shot. 100 yards to go to a tucked right flag. Downwind and slightly downhill, so it's probably a 90 yard shot, which is perfect for the sand wedge. I meant what I said. Going at it. That's gone so very high. And taken an exquisite bounce. I think it's just on the back fringe, but that'll be pretty close. We'll give that a chance for birdie, albeit it's not a green in reg. But at this point, that does not matter. A bit unlucky to run through. It took a huge bounce, but it's, it's only 10 feet. Just outside the left edge. Come on, could this be something special for the end? making me cross thought that was in was not first tapping par for a while though but i was hoping it might drop good hole though let's go make a two on 13 come on here we go then par three winds into off the right so it's a smooth nine nine i'm hitting a 140 shot to a 130 flag let's stick this tight Mm, just pulled it a tad. Oh my god, it's still going left. Wow, that went so much further left than I thought. It's okay, but not great. Be chipping yet again. Jokes aside, when I hit this, I thought it was good. I'm actually in the trees. Luckily, it's fairly safe. I would like to say this is fairly regulation, so let's just knock it in, shall we? With a 56, tiny bit left to right and up the hill. Oh, every time just comes out a little bit deader than I'm expecting. Game's in shambles. Come on, let's make up for that poor chip with a good putt. Oh, I fondled another lip. That was a good putt, to be fair. Just a tad unlucky. Played the par threes like an absolute buffoon. Let's look at the positives. We have two par fives, one here and then 16. So plenty of opportunities. Aiming at that big tree, wind is quite hard right to left. So with my draw, we'll sling one. Well, healed it a tiny bit, but that will do very nicely. Not how I drew it up, but it's turned out perfectly, so I don't mind at all. I should not have complained about my tee shot. This is perfect. Got 181, but believe it or not, I'm hitting a 140 shot. It's downwind, 20 yards downhill, and there's a huge downhill slope shot of the green that you've got to land on. Well, I finally hit a good shot. Let's just hope it turns out good. Rolling just towards the back edge of the green. Yeah, happy with that. Maybe hole a putt and make an eagle. That would be wonderful. And spare me blushes to some degree. 
feel a tiny bit aggrieved to have ended up so far away after a good shot. But I am putting for eagle, albeit a long one. Let's give it a chance. Well, I somehow managed to line the ball up perfectly end over end and then misread it. No problem. There we go. A nice birdie four. We're back, baby, for about the fourth time. Right, this time we're going to follow up that birdie with another good hole. Although it's not an easy one. Got to aim this up the left centre. Wind's left to right. And just hammer one. Oh, I've absolutely creamed that, but straight into the middle of the trees on the right. Well, less than ideal, but we'll go find a way, somehow. Oh dear, I pummeled that drive, but unfortunately pushed it out to the right. And I do have a cat called Gandalf, and I require some wizardry. We're going to have to hit a low punch hook to avoid the front bunker. So I'm opted for a seven iron, it's only a hundred yards. If I get this anywhere near the green, it's a win. And I've just slung it straight into the bunker. That was actually very close to being good. At least with that, I can talk you through my bunker technique. So maybe I did it on purpose. We're in the flat of the bunker and all I really want to do is have 60% of my weight on my front foot, pop it out with the sand wedge, blade is wide open, hands are low, try and get it tight. N nearly. Not a million miles off. Probably just right edge. Oh yeah, somewhat of a surprise, but I'll take it. This is quite a naughty hole with OB left. So I'm just gonna hammer driver up the right side of the fairway and hope it comes back. That's gone very high, but I will not complain about the line. Absolutely no idea where that finished, but I think it's good. Par five, come on. Right then, I've hit a great tee shot. I've only got seven iron in hand, it's 220, but it plays more like 180. So I wanna land this shot and run it on as best I can. So I'm aiming just right of the flag, and let my usual draw take over. Mm, it's a little thin and left. A good bad one, I think. Got plenty of green to work with with the approach, so it's not so bad. Well, if ever there's a good miss, this is it. Got plenty of green to work with, and it's all uphill and a bit of right to left. So I've got 52. I'm on a bit of a downslope, so that should help me release it. No, it's great for line. I've just not hit it hard enough. Story of the day, I'm afraid. We'll go make the putt. Mm. Yeah, a bit tentative. But that was a hard putt. And it's a par. I'm okay with that. I need some par three retribution. I've been dreadful at these today. I've got my 130 club, but I only need to hit this about 120. That might work. Mm. Just chunked it a tiny bit. I'm putting. I'm okay with it. Surely I can't make a double from there. Well, we're putting. Hope you've enjoyed some of these insights into my game. This putt is all about pace and a bit of left to right, but it's always slow on this green. A 
and no surprise, I've left it short. Just. Thank you. Not making life easy, but it's a par nonetheless. Right, last hole. Birdie required for level par on the back, and I'd consider that a good back nine. And I can reach, and that's what I'm going to do. Just inside the left hand bunker, let the wind fade it. Stay left. Oh, it might have just crept into Captain's bunker and I might be donating some money. Pretty good though. Well, I've taken a trip to the beach and this is awkward because I have no green. Face wide open, plenty of speed, plenty of spin, and get saucy with it. Yeah, that's about as good as I could have done. I don't know why it's gone out to the right, but we've got a chance of making birdie, and I'm going to make it. Right, one last putt, please. A bit right to left, just outside the right side. Yay! That's a nice way to finish and a confidence boost. Goodbye.